Hi guys, so today I'm going to be doing tons of planting. I'm hoping to do most of the flower planting today and um, maybe set up some irrigation. Maybe I'm pushing myself a little bit too much. I probably won't have time to do all that stuff. But anyways, I have a couple of flower beds. I'm standing in one right now and I have that one that you see over there. I'm going to be planting some hostas over there and bleeding heart in this one. I also have some flowers that I seeded myself and I'm going to be finding places for those. And also I have some elephant ear horns that, that I'm also going to be planting. So let me show you first where I'm going to be planting the hostas and talk about a little bit about that place and uh, then we'll head on over to planting and we'll talk about each area on its own. So I started this flower bed last season and you can see it's full of weeds right now. <laughs> I need to weed it. I didn't mulch it but just because uh, the pine needles or the spruce needles fall down and they sort of mulch the soil but I probably should mulch it anyways because I see a lot of weeds and uh, I don't want to do mulching this year though or maybe I would in the late fall or or early fall just because I already put down so much mulch everywhere and I just want to wait on that but anyways I have this uh, stand over there uh, came with the house and I moved it over here and it's kind of leaning, leaning a little bit I need to fix it again have a pot that I planted a hosta and a fern in last year and I put it up on it uh, this year I'm not sure if I'm gonna be planting pots just because I have so much to manage I was thinking I was gonna do pots I do only have two well three pots right now and I'm, I don't know if I want to do more than that uh, so I transplanted these hostas from all around um, our property and these ferns just kind of pop on their own over here. They pop under our deck so I just took them and transplanted them. I had one a little bit in the back behind that uh, fern right there but it died. It didn't make it so I'll probably either remove that one and just adjust it. Not today but yes? <laughs> You're all wet! Oh no! I don't know what I was saying. I have no idea. I got interrupted. <laughs> Anyways, so if I have time, I'll weed today. If not, I'll just have to do that another day. But I'm gonna do planting today and then weeding on another day. So I have positioned these hostas kind of... Um, and I don't know what kind of hostas they are, but I like them. They have like a blue color to them. And I'll bring you a little closer to them and show you. I don't know if they're like Gord or I don't know their name. Not sure. But anyways, they have like a bluish tint to them. And they ha they tend to like um, have a cup shape as they grow. And they capture the water. And I find that very charming. <laughs> and uh, it kind of reminds me of children's storybooks. And so I have positioned them on either side of the tree like over there and the one you saw and uh, they kind of create like a centered look sort of so I mean it's not fully centered but uh, I'll adjust it as time goes by and as I have time I'll do more adjustment and in the back oh I totally forgot <laughs> I have I also have these columbines that I got from Big Lots I don't know if they'll survive but I found the color really pretty and I was looking for columbines that are this color and all I could find is like either yellow or salmon and yellow um, like a peachy kind of color and I really love purple I love salmon too it it's a beautiful color and it works really well with this color so maybe if I can, if I do want to mix up the colors, I might get yellow ones or salmon if I can find them again. Um, but these are really pretty. I love the, like here, I'll bring a close up. If they actually come up this way, this would be wonderful. <laughs> so, and if they actually survive, I don't know if they'd survive because I had them in my basement for a few weeks now. So we'll see. And I want to plant them in this area. There are only two of them. I'm hoping that they will spread out and kind of seed themselves and we'll see I uh, just gotta try I guess I don't know I did seed some columbine seeds in here but they were 
they were very old seeds and they were the ones with like the salmon and white kind of or yellow kind of t uh, tinge to them they're pretty colors um, but none of them came out because they were really old seeds so I seeded them like super early spring I just kind of sprinkled the seeds over here and normally things come up I did winter uh, sowing for our or winter seeding for our grass for our lawn and it worked out really well in the in our front lawn and it all came up and now our lawn is pretty green so obviously that works in our area and things seed themselves constantly over here because we do have a pretty wet environment but anyways I think the seeds didn't work out because they were just super old so uh, I think I'm gonna plant the houses first and then I'm going to plant the columbine and then we'll continue with the rest <laughs> I hope you guys like these kind of videos I just thought this would be fun I mean I do I like these kinds of videos that's why I'm doing it and I love gardening I love especially flower gardening well I, that's not true because I do love growing food and obviously this year I'm super focused on growing food and I've expanded our garden and I still have a lot more to do over there and to plant just because of the how the world is now today and I encourage everyone to grow a garden whether the world is like this or not especially it's healthier for us and we specifically have um, special diet needs and so growing our own food is just an extra security for us we uh, I don't know if you guys have heard probably everyone has already by now you know there are a lot of food shortages we are experiencing over experiencing it over here not at a grand scale yet but it's there so you know, I just want to make sure that our family has the food that it needs and that, that's why I'm super focused on growing more food rather than on flowers this year. I did have plans for our other garden where I'm going to be planting uh, the elephant ears but I decided to just kind of forego this, this year, um, that plan this year and just kind of focus on expanding the garden, the food garden this year. So. Uh, let's go ahead and plant. So you can see here the roots of the tree. We, our roots, most trees in our area have shallow, shallow roots. They also do send tap roots. But because we do get a lot of water in our area, we end up with shallow, lots of shallow roots. So what I do is I'm gonna just take this hosta and kind of shape its roots around the, uh, tuck it under kind of this root over here and um, just uh, cover it up and it's good. I'm gonna be also putting in some fertilizer with it, just a little. So over here, barberries grow, grow like weeds. They just drop their seeds everywhere. I don't even know where there's a barberry in here, <laughs> but I, every, anytime I find them, I just pull them because they just spread everywhere and they, they're full of thorns. They're not honestly my favorite, um, but some people have them over here as ornamental plants. They are beautiful, but I personally don't like them. Um, so, I pulled, there's probably like, I don't know, like 50 seedlings over here or more of barberries and also trees grow like weeds over here, especially maple trees. <laughs> so um, 
yeah, they're all over the place. If you see me, if you saw me pulling anything, I was pulling trees and barberry seedlings, tree seedlings and barberry seedlings. I'm gonna be planting now these columbine and let's see what's in here. Hopefully they're alive. So far I haven't had good luck with bare root plants. Well, I can't say that because I did buy several bare root plants in prior years and they did well. I need my gloves. And it just depends on where you buy them from. Oh yay! Okay, this one looks like it's sprouting. Hopefully it's still alive. Okay, I broke a part of this one off. Hopefully it'll still survive. So I'm just gonna bury it up to the top over here. And it doesn't matter honestly where I put them because I do want them to spread. But I guess just so that they would look pretty, I will kind of put them here in the center, kind of centered to the hosta, the two hosta plants, but closer together. We'll see what happens. This bed over here I started while I was pregnant with my youngest and uh, I was actually like fully preg <laughs> pregnant and almost ready to give birth and I just started this whole project uh, just because uh, I was in my last trimester and then COVID started and I just wanted to kind of take my mind off of it and so I just started this and I wanted something a beautiful place to kind of look at and this is in our front lawn so it's it's not finished by any means there's a gopher that came and dug one of these plants out of here and this one somehow ended up um, a little bit in front of the other ones I kind of created a whole row of hostas just from a clump of hostas and they grew really well they've been here for uh, two and a half years and they're doing great. They love this space. And I also um, planted these... You all know them, what they are. <laughs> Lily of the Valley. I know everyone hates them and they are a thug, to be honest. But they are so beautiful and they're so delicate. And I just love how their flowers kind of hang down and uh, they just kind of glisten. Especially in a shady location like over here they're just so beautiful I love them and I don't mind if they spread over here and I keep battling with the sheep sorrel uh, so I just, just kind of decided you know what anytime I see it I'm just gonna harvest it and cook with it <laughs> so uh, it's good for you anyways and I do need to weed over here too I got some weeds Ooh, that's a walnut some squirrel planted it. Let me show you first the, ow, the bleeding heart. I wasn't sure whether to get a white bleeding heart or a pink and white bleeding heart, but I couldn't find the pink and white that I would like. So I ended up with getting this white one anyways. I thought it would probably shine better in a shady location, even though this area kind of get, gets between sun and shade. So you can see it's a little dappled shade over here and that's in the afternoon. This plant, I'm gonna be transplanting it. It's, I don't know, it just ended up somehow next to our chicken coop and I loved it. I love the leaf structure and the flowers, but it seems to do better in the sun. I don't know what it's called. If you guys know, let me know in the comments below. And I've seen another one under the chicken coop again, but obviously it needs sun to thrive but it's just so beautiful i thought it, the leaves are delicate and i love the structure and when these receive more sunlight they have bigger blooms and they're kind of like a like a carrot flower or uh ladies anne's um lace ladies anne's lace 
Is that, am I saying that right? Similar to that, except they're yellow. So I think this is a cedar, I'm not sure. Because this tree was here and the fabric was here before we moved. So I just took all the grass out and actually it wasn't just grass, it was tons of weeds. Tons of climbing vines and weeds and barberries and all sorts of stuff. And I t dug it all out and I put down cardboard on one side, on that side. And that I have less weed with it. And then over here I just kind of mulched it without any cardboard. And that's the side that I'm facing more weeds with. Uh, so anyways, I my initial plan was to get like four of these, uh, of the bleeding hearts and put them um, all around the tree and I would still love to do that but they are a little pricey so I just got one this year and I thought maybe I could just divide it over the years or maybe next year I'll just get more and uh, also that side over there gets a lot more sun in the morning and I noticed that a lot of the plants kind of struggle at that time in the summer so I'm not sure I guess I, the only way I would know is if I tried it and I'm not gonna try it this year. I, or I might, I don't know. Do I plant it here? Do I not? These ferns also are struggling. I'm not sure why. Maybe the roots of the tree are too big for them and it's sucking up all the nutrients they need. Maybe they're not getting enough water. I don't know. But also I had this uh, soaker hose over here. It's really thin. I should have got really the half inch, not the quarter inch for this area. But something came and just chopped it up into pieces <laughs> in this side over here. I don't know if you guys can see it. You see? I have no idea what did that. Not sure. Yeah. It's like, look at it. It's like here, here. I don't know what did that. So I guess I'll just plant it here and then if I don't like its location or I'll just plant it here and see how it does over here and if it does well I'll plant more of it around this tree and we'll see how that works out. So let's plant it. Okay, big root over here. <sighs> That's the landscaping fabric I'm hitting. I really want to take this out, but I haven't had the chance to do it yet. And I want to do that on a separate day. I don't think it's good for the tree anyways. I feel like the tree is struggling a little bit. So um, I'm just gonna deal with it for now. And when I have the time, I'll come back and take the landscaping, landscaping fabric out. Obviously, whoever designed this area um, had a similar thought process, but um, I wouldn't have used the landscaping fabric around the tree. Okay, so I have these like really wiry roots. I'm just gonna pull them up. And there's one, I don't know if you guys can see it, this one right here, I'm just gonna leave and I'll scooch it over. I'm gonna dig over here, so I guess I ended up about where I wanted it anyways, uh, just by removing the landscaping fabric because that's what I was hitting. I thought I was hitting, um, I thought I was hitting a root. The root is actually right here. It's a, it's a giant root. doesn't have a lot of roots on it which is easier to plant around a tree like this it's so 
Oh, oh my goodness. Really not much root at all. Okay, I think that's good. Okay, so I'm just gonna bury it. Probably need to lift it up a little. Yeah, I do. So when I uh, designed this bed over here, I tied a rope so that I could uh, dig a circle around the tree and take out all the grass and all the... I'm over here, Gabriel, and all the stuff around the tree. And I totally forgot to take the string from around the tree. And that was really handy. I just tied it around the tree. So you can see, I tied it around the tree over there. I'm lopsided, but I don't care right now. I'm gonna be moving over. Uh, and I just kind of pulled this and I tied it to my shovel and I as, as I pull really tight and just move from one place to another that just kind of created a circle all around the tree and it was a perfect circle and I would do that again anytime and I do that with all the plants that I that I plant uh, if I'm trying to create a circle around them to mulch them and like if I'm planting trees for example and that works really well I just put it around the pot and then I tie it to the shovel and I dig and it creates a circle so uh, maybe later on today I'll come back and and cut it or tomorrow it's not gonna hurt the tree right now it's been there for like two and a half years nobody knew <laughs> okay so that's how we're ended obviously I need to come and prune all these dead branches over here I think it looks nice and when it's shady it looks I can see the white blooms and it looks pretty I'll probably be moving these ferns and I also want to dig up the hostas that are in the Sun around our property and just kind of continue the circle all around the trees and then between the hostas and the lily of the valley I want to be planting some hookahs one day uh, not this year obviously I don't know if I'll be able to get to it next year or not and I'm not obviously gonna be able to how many times can I say obviously in this sentence or paragraph I will not be able to fill this whole area with hookahs uh, uh, in just one shot because that's a lot of plants and that's gonna be super expensive so I'll be doing it very slowly and probably just splitting them or maybe buying plugs or if if I can or just planting the seeds myself. I like the purple Dolce Hookera. I think it looks beautiful. It would look beautiful up against these hostas and in this location over here uh, because it would get a, a little bit of sunlight but not too much and it's still shady and um, yeah I, I think that would look very nice over here. That was my original plan. Also my plan was to plant ferns right behind the hostas and then the um, um, bleeding hearts behind those and I don't know I, oh yeah I wanted lamium to be the ground cover all over this area I'm not sure if I would fill with other plants later so because these ferns are not doing good over here I'm gonna dig them up not today uh, but some other day and plant them somewhere else and I'll be digging that one up too. I totally forgot to show you how these hostas look like over here. So these are the two hostas. You can see this is a backed up view and they're gonna grow and fill this whole area because I do believe these grow pretty large and I'm just excited to see that happen and later on once they grow too big I'll be able to divide them and just plant them somewhere else in the garden. <laughs> For now, I'm going to leave uh, that pine tree free without any planting because the kids like to climb on it. Eventually one day as they get older, I'll just join these two beds together and kind of a, um, like a, sort of like a glasses shape. If you can see, you can already see it, sort of. It's already formed in a way, so, 
or I might change that whole plan in the future. Who knows? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> we'll see, but it's a really nice shady area over here. And the columbine, you can't really see them. I hope I won't step on them when I'm cleaning up over here. I don't even know where they are anymore. I see one right there. Oh, and that's the other one right here. So here and here, kind of in a triangle form. Look at the bees, they are so active. If you guys haven't watched the video of the catching of catching the swarm and splitting the hive, go ahead and watch it. Our bees swarmed and I was able to catch them. My husband was at church and I was at home because my back was hurting me and I came out and I saw them and he called me just when I saw them. He said in the video I called him but it was actually <laughs> he called me and I when I saw them they were kind of like forming a tunnel at first around the hive and then they just moved and flew between the spruce and the pine over there uh, and it was I'm like and I was worried that they're gonna leave our property but they ended up landing on one of these blocks over here and on back on the hive over there so I was able to catch them and then when he came home you'll have to see you have to go ahead and watch the video <laughs> I'll link it uh, at the end of this video and in the des description box as well okay so this is where I'm gonna be planting the elephant ears so like I said my focus this year is going to be food so I'm not going to actually go ahead with my plan for this area but the only thing that I'm going to be planting here are the elephant ears and the hibiscus. I did order some hibiscus, so I'm still waiting for them to come. It's kind of getting late in the season, in my opinion. But whatever. We are still getting some low temperatures at night, like 46 degrees Fahrenheit. So I don't know if that would damage them. Uh, I don't know. Anyways, so I'm just going to be planting the elephant ears right now, and I'm still waiting for my hibiscus to come. Once, it's, once it comes, I'm going to be planting one on each corner of this area and uh, then I'll have to look at my plans again. Uh, elephant ears, of course, are not a perennial in our area. We are in zone 5, so I would have to dig them up in the fall after or before, after they die back and um, then I'll just store them in my basement. Um, so I'm going to place the elephant ears in this area up in the middle and then we'll go ahead and plant them it's really hot over here because it's in the sun it was really nice working in the shade <laughs> but let's not complain <laughs> so I don't know how much you guys can see but maybe I could explain it through this fence over here so you can see this metal fence right here so I placed one uh, one corm uh, sort of nut directly where the fence post is but a little bit in on this side so goes over here closer to the walkway and one in the middle of these two fence posts and it's closer to the fence but far away enough far away where it's not going to touch the electric fence and then one also on this side of the fence closer to the walkway again. Hopefully this would look as pretty as I would imagine it to be. I'm just gonna plant them and hope for the best. <laughs> so it says to plant them one inch below the soil line. Actually, let me remove the mulch first. And take out this cardboard. I have no idea what you guys can see and you can't see. I left a little bit unmulched so that it would come up. But I think even if I put the mulch down, it's still going to come up just like that. There. Hopefully I won't step on it. <laughs> um, I'll just stick this in the soil like that. Can you guys see anything? Oh, I'll just stick this in the soil over here where I planted it. Like that, just to kind of let me know 
that I have something planted over here and hopefully I won't hurt myself <laughs> on this stick right here. <laughs> so I'm, ho I'm hoping I didn't plant the other one wrong. I'm gonna open it and check on it. But I noticed that this is, this is where the growth point is on this one. And I'm not sure if these are roots or what now. This is my first time planting elephant ears. So don't take my advice on this. I'm just showing you what I'm doing over here. I'm not, I'm not trying to teach you about how to plant elephant ears. Please do your research. <laughs> I definitely planted that one the wrong way. This is the growth point and that's where the root is. Yes, mama. So I'm gonna plant it again. So this right here is the kid's garden. Uh, well, originally it was the kid's garden and then my daughter decided that she doesn't like gardening so now it's for my son. If his sister, little sister wants to do, do it with him, maybe he can share with her. <laughs> so uh, my son chose these pen, um, violas over here in the spring. He planted them here and then I transplanted some of my lilies into his uh, bed. He said he wants to plant some carrots so we might be planting carrots too. Uh, today if I have the time so and we planted some sweet peas in the back. I put this uh, bed um, Headboard over here that used to belong to my daughter's bed and she no longer uses it So I put it over here kind of like a funny whimsical thing. It's a flower bed You know <laughs> Hey Gabriel, can you please get, bring the plants? Sure. Um. Give me the lupins first. Okay. He planted these lupins in this little tiny container over here and they're not, obviously, they're not doing the best because I should have transplanted them. Uh-oh. Uh, and uh, I didn't fertilize them as much as I did with my other plants. These were in my kitchen, so um, I wasn't paying as much attention to them <laughs> as I should have. And they should have been transplanted, but I just didn't have the time to do that because I have so many things that I need to accomplish and I'm running out of time. Uh, so today we're going to be transplanting them. I think they'll be okay. And my daughter, my little one, uh, soon to be two-year-old, planted these purple yes, zinnia. Mama. Yes! <laughs> Look at her. So that cutie over there planted these purple zinnias over here. She put the seeds in and covered them. And so we're going to be planting her zinnias in my son's flower bed also. And uh, like I said, later we might be planting some carrots and then we're going to be mulching. There are some weeds. We just pulled up some today and then we just keep pulling them and that grass keep coming up. So it's a battle, but we'll win it. <laughs> okay, so there are one second. Mom. <laughs> Let me get, okay, give me one. My, my she stole my gloves. <laughs> okay, so... Uh, they're so root bound, so I'm just gonna uh, roughen up the root a little bit and try to be as gentle as I can because these are seedlings and I don't want to hurt them. And we're gonna separate these two seedlings and plant them in the ground. So I'm just gonna gently separate them like this. And then I'm going to hand them to my son and he's going to plant his seedlings in the ground. There we go. Wow, that's a long root. <laughs> so, I don't know what color they are. It was a mix of colors. So, we'll see what they're going to turn out to be. Hey, Gabriel. You ready? Okay, here. Wow, that is long roots. They don't break it. What do I put these? Oh, you're gonna use this. So I was thinking, and let's see if they can see first. Um, hold on. I was thinking um, you could do maybe like one here and one here. What do you think? Because hmm. these are gonna grow like yeah. really big. Uh oh, you got a bug on you? So. Or maybe them a little closer to the uh -oh. like that. Don't break it. Where's that tree? Are you gonna help? Are you gonna help? Oh! <laughs> well, you can't see yourself right now. You have to wait. Look, we'll see Gabriel planting. 
Just don't shake the Wait, camera. How deep do I plant it? Uh, just as deep as the tip of the roots. You see that um, like brown thing that's sticking out? You can bury that a little bit. Okay. Just don't I'll bury help. the crown, okay? I'll help. I'll help, Mama. You'll help? I'll help. Do you want to put some fertilizer in? Yeah. Yeah, Wait, you'll plant your fertilizer? plant. You see your zinnias right there, Serenity. Is this fertilizer, Mama? Yeah, just be careful. There's not much here. Do you want me to do it for you? Yeah. Oh, I think you buried it too deep. No, I didn't. Look. Yes, Mom. There's you see that crown right there? That should not be buried. Oh. Okay, just like that. All right. Oh. Can I have this? Stop digging up my garden. <laughs> so cute. <laughs> uh, wait, you know, you, Serenity, you have to dig in one spot. Okay, look, here. Okay, you want Mama to help you? Be careful, she's going to step. What do you do? Yeah, you're going to put your plant in here? Watch your fingers, that's sharp. Okay, put, put it, it in the hole. Oh. Put it in the hole. Good job. I did it. Good job. Pull it up a little, Gabriel. I want to. We're all done with this. <laughs>